Hello boys and girls. Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku guy, with yet another step that we can take to solve Sudoku puzzles. What I'm going to do today is to show you something that you can do when there's a puzzle with lots of empty cells. And it's called TMB. What does that stand for? Top, middle and bottom. Let me explain. If you look at this you will notice that these are three horizontal blocks and in these three horizontal blocks you have a top row, a middle row and a bottom row. And I say top, middle and bottom. Now, where do they come into the picture? Let me explain. What we have to do is start from one and go up to nine and we look at these three blocks and we say to ourselves, which block has a one in it? You should have two blocks that have got a one in it. But which block now doesn't have a one in it? Well, if you look at this carefully, here's a block with a one. Here's a block with a one. This block doesn't have a one. And that's what you're looking for. Where there's a number one, or it could be any number, one to nine, in two out of three blocks. This one's in the top row. This one is in the bottom row. Therefore, using what we call logic, this block has to have it in its middle row. Because you see, each of these blocks has a top row, a middle row, and a bottom row. This block has a top row, a middle row, and a bottom row. This, top has a, this, this, this block has a top row, a middle row, and a bottom row. T, M, B. And you can never have two T's. If you have two T's, you're going to mean that you've got to have, for example, you can't have a one there and a one there because you've repeated the one in that row. So let me demonstrate to show you how it works. Let's start with one. Here's one on the top row of that block. Here's one on the bottom row of this block. Therefore, in this row, it has to be in the, in this block, it has to be in the middle row. So that's where the one goes. Let's take two now. A two, where are the twos now? Oh, this block has a two, this block has a two, but this block doesn't have a two. This block has a two on the top, row. This, two block, this, block, this, this block has a two in the middle row and this block doesn't have a two. But according to the rule, if you've got one top and one middle, the, the block that doesn't have the two has to have it on the bottom row. So it goes there. Let's take the three. Here we have a, a bottom in this block. Here we have a three in the top of this block. Therefore, this block that doesn't have a three must have it in the middle row, which is this row. So we put it there. There's no other place it can go. Let's try four now. We have a four here in the middle row. In this block, it's in the top row. In this block, it's in the bottom row. It's already there. Guess what? You just forget it. It's done. We go to five. Okay, let's go to five now. Five. Here's a five in, the, in this block. There's a five in the middle. In this block, there's a five in the bottom. So if this is in the middle and that's in the bottom, this block that doesn't have a five must have a five up in the top. So sometimes it's top, middle, bottom, sometimes it's middle, bottom, top, sometimes it's bottom, top, middle. It can go any, any, any way, as long as you don't have two tops or two middles or two bottoms. <laughs> okay, so what, where are we up to? We're up to five, and let's go to six. Here's a six in the bottom. Here's a six over in this block in the middle row. So in this block that doesn't have a six, we put it there in the top. You see, because if you put it there, you'd have two sixes in that row. Very good. Sevens. We the sevens in the bottom here. In this block, it's in the top. 
the row, and this uh, block it's in the middle row. They're all there. Leave it. Go to the eight. Let's look at eight. Here's the eight in the middle row of this block. This one's in the bottom row of the block. So we have a bottom, middle. This one doesn't have an eight. It has to go there. Now let's look at the nines. There's a nine on the top here in this block. There's a nine in the middle in this block. Therefore, in this block that doesn't have a nine, it has to go there. Now, that's called the TMB system. And I use this system for every puzzle I do, even the very, 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 very hard ones. So it's great to learn this little, we call it a technique. Now let's try this one. We'll do it again. I'll go a bit faster. Again, we have three horizontal blocks, and we have a top row in them, we have a middle row in them, and we have a bottom row in them. So let's take the one. We have a top in this one, we have a middle in this one, and we have a bottom in that one, so they're all done. We go on to two. Uh, uh, here we have a two in the bottom here, a two in the middle there, and a two in the top there. We're all done, so we go on to a three. Three, let's have a look at three. Here's a bottom, a three on the bottom. Here in this block, it's a three on the top. In this block, it's a three. Ooh, it doesn't have one. So if it's a bottom and a top, this one must have it in the middle. The middle. So we put it in there. Um, four. Here's a, ooh, here's a, here's one. I could do it this way or this way. This one's got it up the top. This one's got it at the bottom. This block has to have it there, in the middle. Five. Here's a one on the top. Here's one on the bottom. There's one in the middle. They're all there. Eh, go to the six. Um, middle, top, bottom. Has to be on the bottom. Sevens. Here is a middle. Here's a bottom. This block doesn't have a seven. So it has to go there, nowhere else. Well, in, in fact, it can't go anywhere else because that's only got one left in it now, that block. And uh, seven, eight, let's have a look at the eight. Here we have a top and nothing in this one. We have it to the bottom there, so in this block it has to be in the middle and there's nowhere else it can go because, of course, it is uh, only one left in that block. So nines are probably all there, let's have a look. Nine, middle, top, bottom. There you go. Now you've been introduced to how to solve a puzzle that's got more than just one cell left. It's called the TMB. And that's it for today's session. See you next time. Bye.